For this example, we have log base 4 of 10 minus log base 4 of x equals 2. And again, you always want to combine first with these logarithmic uh, equations where you're trying to solve here. Combine first. Okay, you want to get that into a single log using the properties of logarithms. Well, here we go. Rem recall that log base b of a minus log base b of b is simplified or combined as log base b of a over b. Okay, that's the property of logarithms we're going to use here. So using that gives us log base 4 of 10 divided by x equals 2. All right, you want to have this as a single log over here before you continue. All right, well, it is a single log, so we now we put it in exponential form. We take 4 to the power of 2 back inside for equals, all right? 4 to the power of 2 equals 10 over x. All right, so that gives us 4 to the power of 2, indeed, equals 10 over x. And now we just have to solve this thing for x, all right? Let's see, so we're really working with 16 equals 10 over x. I'm going to multiply up by x here, so we get 16x equals 10. And dividing both sides by 16 gives us 10 over 16, which can be simplified. Let's see, we can factor uh, 2 out of both of those. So that's actually 5 eighths. 5 eighths, and then we give it a quick check to make sure that doesn't force us into a negative inside the log. We cannot have a negative inside log. The domain of log is 0 to infinity. That's the domain of log x, right? So if we get a negative, somehow we, we have to toss out that result. Luckily, this does not give us a negative, so we are good to go. 5 eighths is the answer.